Hi, this is Jim Myers with Art Negative Graphics, Vice President, and I'm here with Tom Desmond with MacTac, and this is 10 Minutes with Art Negative. So good morning. How are you, Tom? I'm doing well. I'm doing great. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. I hope uh, the audience gets a lot out of this, um, talking about different materials. But first, could, let's talk about your background. Tell us a little bit about you and MacTac. Sure. Well, first off, uh, thanks for having me. It's my first podcast, full disclosure, so uh, <laughs> hopefully one of many. But uh, so I'm based here in Maryland, but uh, my career has been mainly um, a supplier to the graphic arts industry, uh, mainly uh, fine paper, uh, spent some time in commercial print, uh, similar to something like this. And the last two years I've been at MacTech. So um, it's, been a, it's been a great fit. My job is mainly calling on print end users and distributors um, who stock our product and um, trying to build brand awareness and um, you know, get the word out. So. Um, it's a, it's a great company, and um, MacTac is um, they're doing some some interesting things. So maybe a lot of people don't know, might not know about MacTac. How long has MacTac been in business? So MacTac's been in business, Jim, for over sixty years. Uh, we're about a four hundred million dollar company, uh, based in Stowe, Ohio. Uh, we have manufacturing plants in Pennsylvania. We have manufacturing plants in South Carolina, Minnesota, Mexico, Columbus. Uh, Indiana. So we've got five facilities. And what we do, we are a pressure sensitive adhesive company. What does that mean? Well, uh, we make labels. Mm -hmm. uh, there's five segments to the business that we're in. Uh, we're owned by a company called Lintech. That's our parent company. And they're out of Japan. They're more of a, um, they're also a pressure sensitive adhesive company. Uh, but they're more of a niche type. They get into um, uh, stuff that we don't need to talk about. They get into uh, barcoding, not barcoding, but more chips and things like that, semiconductors. But our business at MacTac, uh, North America, is broken into five segments. So it's uh, roll label, which is flexographic. Mm -hmm. um, that's the majority of it. Um, there's industrial tapes, medical tapes. Um, and what I'm here, what I represent, though, is the graphic uh, products, which is wide format, as well as pressure-sensitive sheets that are run on equipment that you have. Yeah. 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 It was funny. We, you and I were talking a couple of weeks ago and you brought up some really cool, uh, materials that, uh, I really wanted you to go through. And so our audience knows some of the materials that you offer that we can use for their products and, um, and then, you know, how that, how that works out. So, uh, so I see you brought some materials here. Can you tell us a little bit about? I, I did. Thanks. And I'm, I'm looking at some of the stuff. Your background here is probably some of our product because this is you know, our, our products, at least for the wide format side for those labels are designed for windows, walls, floors, general signage, and then fleet vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, this is a book of everything I sell. I'm not going to go through this today, mm -hmm. but as you can see, it's, it's a lot of products. Yeah. And the difference between these, I mean, basically everything that we have is um, our products are a label. And what that is, is it's a face stock, adhesive, and then a liner, the piece that you throw away. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a ton of different applications, obviously, but I thought for this podcast, for your audience, it would be valuable to talk about maybe three that I see that maybe, you know, would be, um, you know, have relevance today. So the first one, and I saw it on a recent podcast and congratulations on the podcast. I think it's great. Oh, thanks. Um, I think it's awesome. So, um, easy install, easy de install. So plug and play, if you will. So I think it's, um, this is a product called M dot and it's a family of products. And as you can see, these are printed pieces, obviously that we've got. Um, mm -hmm. and what's unique about these are is the adhesive pattern. So it's got a dot adhesive pattern. That's why it has that name. So if you take this and if you just undo it, and I don't have any nails, I should have nails, but this is an example yeah. of. Yeah, stick it on the stick it on yeah. the back window right there. That's a great idea because it is. This way they can see exactly how easy it is, is to right? put up. That's good. Okay. So as you can see there, 
this is, you know, this comes in a roll form, and then it would come to Art and Negative. You would print it, mm -hmm. and you would cut it, send it to a customer, an association, or a nonprofit. They could take it to a trade show or something like that, and you don't need to be an expert to put this up. That's Easy awesome. install, easy de install. Yeah, that's great. Now, this is the clear for Windows. We also have one for floor graphics. Floor graphics are obviously, you know, Mm -hmm. very popular today. This has a texture on it. Okay. I'm not going to put this up on the window, but yeah, you would sure. put this down on a floor, not a carpet. This would be for smooth surfaces. Okay. But this is um, a great product for smooth floors. It's removable short term. Or anywhere you wanted to get a message out in floor graphics, it's got a no slip built into the face. So someone's not going to slip on it, but mm -hmm. that's a great product that we carry. Awesome. So there's a number of other products that we have. Um, this is another one called Rudolin Wall Noodle. And mm -hmm. I think um, that your background is up there, actually, is on yeah. one of these products is on Rudel. And yeah. what's unique about this product is it's a it's a six mil, another easy product to work with. I wouldn't have one of your, you know, an easy, you know, like a, a staff member from an association put this up. It does, but it's, it's really good for production people to work with because yeah. it's thicker. Well, like the Rudel, we used it for a university that we did their mascot, did a big, huge de uh, decal, put it nice. right on their wall. You Perfect. know, it just gets people motivated, you yeah. know, get excited about their, their mascot. So that's kind of, these are some products that are for easy, like we talked about, easy install, easy deinstall, um, not high-end price-wise. So I think these would be really good fits. So um, the other product that I think we were talking about that I think is relevant today with more people coming back in to offices, because mm -hmm. fortunately we're making some progress with, with uh, the pandemic, this is the Be Free Window Film. Now, this is just an acrylic plate, but what you can see here is this is a window film, just like the M dot where I put it up on a window. But what's different about this, it comes in three finishes, a frosted, a dusted, and a gloss clear. Yeah, I like that. So, really cool. you know, we're, we're seeing a lot more people going back into offices. This would be like an etched glass look or a clear look, and it's called Be Free because the adhesive, the glue, has air channels. So when you're putting it up, Mm -hmm. They leak out. No trapped air is going to be left. So it's real easy to work with. But you could print on that or you could just put it up as a privacy unprinted. Got it. Yeah, we um, we do some stuff in for uh, interior decorators mm -hmm. for office buildings. So a lot of the trend is the conference rooms have a lot of glass and they want to put like a privacy strip up. So we've done that. So um, I most likely might have used this material. You probably did, Good. and and it's one of our most popular. And you um, can print on it too, which is you nice. can print on it, or you don't have to print on it. As you can see, the frosted is the most popular finish that we sell, mm -hmm. um, but it comes in a gloss clear, and then the dusted, so you get like an etched glass look, or you know that. That's so really you can, nice. yeah, it's it's oh, a great product. Everybody there. can see that really well. And what's nice is all of this stuff is available on samples. You know, if anybody's listening to this podcast, reach out to you if they wanted some sample sheets of eight and a half by eleven, just oh, to play yeah. around with. You know, we could always yeah, do that. Okay, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. So you got some other I do cool got some stuff, other stuff there. here. So one of the things, speaking about the pandemic, I'm not going to go into these right now from a time standpoint, but okay. so um, antimicrobial. Mm. So what is that? So when it's uh, an overlaminate. So when you, it's kind of sounds kind of sciencey, and I'm not a scientist. Uh, full disclosure. But an, uh, an overlaminate, for people who don't know, it's just a, a clear covering for a printed graphic. Why do we have these? I mean, a, an overlaminate is kind of like sunscreen. You know, it presents, prevents UV exposure for a printed graphic, and then it also um, would protect it from getting dinged. So we've had these. They're existing. They're common to the industry. You probably use a lot of them. However, we decided to come out with one that has an antimicrobial property in. So what's in it, in the face, is actually a biocide, which inhibits microbes from growing. So obviously it's not going to kill, you know, COVID, <laughs> but what it would do is this would um, inhibit, you know, things like SARS and um, uh, Staphylococcus, uh, other things that I can't pronounce, other, you know, uh, things from uh, growing, basically. Oh. I'm going to show that to you. Okay. That's on a liner. That's so basically liner. Yeah. when we make that, we put a, a zinc, which is a, a, a chemical compound into the face. Mm -hmm. And then, so the point of this would be a printed graphic someone would print, maybe a restaurant, you know, a kiosk. So I was going to say, what kind of industries probably would use this? So healthcare would be big. Mm -hmm. Hospitals uh, would be big. Uh, healthcare, uh, universities. Um, you know, I was at a university who was redoing some lockers mm -hmm. and uh, where the, the uh, kids come down to the mail department and they wanted it to be contactless. Yeah. So this would be perfect because what it does is um, you would have a printed graphic and then you would put this down Just on top of, it. Over top of it. And then yeah. you can wipe it down. The antimicrobial property doesn't wash away. It'll last for as long as the graphic, the laminate is there, which that can last up to three years. So it comes in three adhesive options. 
It comes yeah. in a permanent, comes in a removable, and then it comes in another permanent with a textured face so you wouldn't see fingerprints on it. Okay, gotcha. And the point of that is that you would have the removable, you know, most laminates are permanent, but a removable, you would go direct to the surface. You wouldn't print on, um, you know, you wouldn't print a graphic and put it over. You would just put it right on a table like this or at a, you know, at a doctor's office, like maybe when you go into check-in or something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. But you guys get a lot of you know, hand prints and you peel it off in a month, put another one down for the removable. Exactly. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's what that would be perfect. But cool. um, yeah, so those are three popular products. Again, we've got a ton more. Um, we have great YouTube videos. Um, a Mac tech, uh, dot, if you go to Mac tech, uh, or just go to the web and search YouTube, Mac tech graphics, you can see some Mac tech employees, you know, kind of use utilizing these, putting them down on windows, walls, or floors. Great. Great. Well, we're out of time, great. Um, but Tom, man, thank you for coming on, taking your time to come oh, out here. It's and, great to be here. And, uh, you know, tell us about the different things MacTac has to offer. And um, if you'd like to hear more about different videos that are coming out in the future, please check us out at Art and Negative Graphics on YouTube and like our channel. And uh, just wanted to say again, thank you for coming out. Appreciate Thanks for it. having me. Great to be here. Take care. All right.